Welcome to r slash choosing beggars, where people expect discounts on free stuff. I need help, please. Okay, I need money, and I thought, what are friends for? Yes, supporting each other, so please send me money. I'm desperate. Any donation above $100 is welcome. Don't even try donating under $100, you broke person. Don't be cheap. I'm trying to raise $10,000 by the end of the month. Please spread the word. Those $10,000 are going to be spent on the following. 1. iPhone 11 Pro Max 5 12GB for $1,300. 2. $700 sneakers. We'll post the pic in my next snap. 3. $250 new AirPod Pro. 4. Rent and credit card late payments. 5. Weed. 6. Wine. I haven't had any for a long time. 7. Whatever is left will be spent on clothes. If you haven't gotten me anything for Christmas, don't even think about donating anything below $500. Smiley face, thank you. When this guy said he wanted $10,000, I assumed that like his car had broken down or he had insane medical bills or something. Not a new iPhone and shoes. Come on, man. That's great. Thank you for answering so quickly. I saw your post in the blank group about the printer. Is it still available? Ah, okay. Yes, it is. I'm sorry. I was wondering why you were writing to me in English. My French is not that good. How much is the printer? Is it working properly? It's free. Don in French means giveaway. You just need to pick it up. You probably have to buy new cartridges though, the ink thing. I haven't used it in more than a year, so the old ones are probably useless now. But you can get them everywhere. I see. Why do you give it away? Is it broken? I'm trying to do some 2020 cleaning, and as I said, I haven't used it much, so I don't really need it. When can you pick it up? I go back to work on Monday, but I'm free tomorrow. Oh, but the shops are closed tomorrow. Will you be able to buy the ink today? Sorry, what? I don't think you understood me. I won't be buying the ink. I'm giving you the printer for free. Yes, but it's useless without the ink. I don't need it if it's not working. All right, have a nice day then. I'll give it to someone who does. Wait, I'll come today if you come to the store with me to buy the ink. The store is closed around 8 p.m., so we still have some time to go. I'm good. Have a great day. I can guarantee you that if you actually took her to the store, she would have been like, Oh, you know what? We may as well pick up some paper while we're here. And actually, come to think of it, I also need a laptop. So if you don't mind, I'll take the newest MacBook. Thanks. We just had a new coworker start a few months ago. He's a real sweet and genuine guy. He spent a ton of time getting to know all of us, and he would share his knowledge while still eager to learn. Just a good person who made an authentic effort to get to know us. For Christmas, he took the time to write out personalized Christmas cards to each of us in the department. There are about 70 of us. Each card had a personalized message. He put so much care into this, guys. And on top of that, he gifted everyone in the office their own $10 gift card to the local coffee house at our job. He didn't have to do any of this. Most of us were grateful. Most of us. Our resident butthole of a petulant child decided to pipe up during our coworker's gift giving and tell him that he should have gotten gift cards to a coffee place he uses outside of work. A personalized card, hand delivered with free coffee, none of which was expected. And this jerk went ahead and complained. I can't wait until next Christmas when everybody else in the office gets a gift card, but not this woman. Our next Reddit post is from Angel Spice. As a quick background, I, a 23-year-old female, am not a makeup artist. I enjoy doing makeup and I'm good at it, and sometimes I'll do my friend's makeup if we're going to a party or other event. However, I don't actually have the materials, range of skin, eyebrow, etc. shades to accommodate anyone who is not similar in tone to myself. I also should make very clear here that I see makeup as a hobby. I lead a pretty busy life as I'm in a full-time college course, non-makeup related, and I have a job, non-makeup related. My roommate's sister is getting married in April. I have met her twice. I was in the kitchen eating my cereal and my roommate came in and began describing a conversation that she had with her sister. To summarize, her sister had been saying how she didn't want to pay for a makeup artist for her and her bridal party for her wedding when OP could just do it. Her bridal party consists of herself, her four bridesmaids, and her mother. 
The wedding is a two hour drive from my apartment. This alone sets me up with a 10 hour unpaid day. To add to this, the wedding is on a Monday when I would usually work an eight hour shift, which is paid. I also don't have makeup that matches the brides or any of the bridesmaids skin or eyebrow tone. So I would potentially need to purchase this. I asked my roommate how much I would be paid to do this, expecting a smaller sum than a qualified makeup artist, but surely enough to cover travel, any new products, and a gift. Note, I wouldn't be expecting an hourly rate or anything. And she replied saying that I wouldn't be paid at all. To add, I was also not to be invited to the wedding. I am kind of of the view that if you feel like we're close enough for you to ask this favor from me, I should at least be invited as an evening guest. As I'm not a professional, the concept of doing someone's entire wedding party's makeup sort of freaked me out. What if I mess it up or it doesn't last all day? I'll just be blamed for a bad job when it's a very stressful request. I really think that this needs to be shamed, particularly as my roommate didn't seem to see anything wrong with it. If you want good makeup, pay for it. Don't ask favors from people you barely know. A little bit of human respect goes a long way. If you can't afford to pay people for their time, don't have such an expensive wedding. Am I overreacting to this? OP, no, you are absolutely not overreacting to this. This woman sounds like an entitled choosing beggar and you're definitely justified in turning her down. My Uber driver just stopped to give a beggar some change. I was going to compliment him, very kind. The beggar yelled, 75 cents, I don't want this, and threw it back at the car. I just experienced the literal beggars can't be choosers, and it makes me sad. So, my vet bill came to 120 pounds, and the emergency bill for my boy who passed was 200. I think it's disgusting that we have to pay for pet care. These people claim to be in the job because we care, but if that was truly the case, they would at least have their callouts free. I personally think it's wrong to pay just to give our pets a good life. Down in the comments, Buzzy Star says it best. If you can't afford the vet, you can't afford the pet. I said hello. I'm sorry for the late response. What can I help with? Web design with logo. Show me your latest work in mobile design category. I want someone good. Okay, give me a few moments. I can show you the full design with prototype if needed. No need. It looks really good. What do you need for start? Basic explanation of your projects, plus some examples of what you would like your design to look like and your budget for the project. I'll calculate the price. It will be a mobile app, CSGO Skins Gambling Platform. My budget is $2,000, but everything will go to developers. You do know that I'm not designing for free, right? Being developer is a lot harder than being a designer. They deserve the money. They work harder and more. You cannot compare designers with developers. Your logic doesn't make any sense. Developers need to learn computer language. I can design it by myself and all I need is Microsoft Paint and 20 minutes of my time. If you think it's that easy, you're free to design it by yourself. You are the designer, not me. Besides, I have better things to do. Okay, I'm done with you. Have a nice evening. Okay, dude, I'm sorry. I just meant that I have a lot of work now. You here? You know what? I'll find someone better who'll be honored to work with me. And I see you have some solid reviews, smiley face. Let's break that a little. Man, we're both grown-ups. Can't you just make a logo? You don't charge for logos, right? Dude, it'll take you three minutes. Three minutes of your free time you'll spend on doing BS anyways. OP sends back a smiley face. I can do it in two. That's the spirit. The name is C.S. Felix. I'll let you use your own creativity as long as it looks good. No worries, it will certainly look very epic. <laughs> then, then OP sends back an image of Felix Shelberg with terrible MS Paint skills. It looks awful. It took me a while, but here you go. Enjoy your free logo within two minutes. You're more than welcome to use my services in the future. Is this some kind of bad joke? Who is it in the background? Why isn't it cropped? Also, why it looks so cheap? I trusted you and this is it? I cannot believe you have positive reviews. This is BS. 
Go eat effing booty, you piece of garbage, and burn in hell with your extra money you'll make. You don't even deserve our effing oxygen, you degenerate. This choosing beggar demands something for free, and then when he gets it, why does it look so cheap? Um, because it is? In this next post, OP is trying to rehome his sister's dog, and he gets this. Can I have your dog? I'm in Antioch, Tennessee, and need it delivered. Sorry, but nope. Why not? Because that's a 40 minute drive and he doesn't do well in the car. Okay, then why do you advertise him if you're not willing to let him have a home? That's stupid. Especially when people are going to want him from all areas of the state, not just me. Because most people can drive and pick him up. Okay, but some are also handicapped and unable to drive. So technically, you're saying you won't give it to a handicapped slash disabled person? WTF! Have someone you know drive out here and pick him up and you can have him. Wow, you're such a jerk when it comes to someone you can't even walk or drive. But yet, I'm just asking for a new best friend, a dog. You're clearly mentally unwell, and he deserves a good home, so I'm glad you can't come get him. You know what? After saying that, I'm gonna report you to the police for verbal abuse. OP, I can't believe the cops allowed you to post this from jail. Review, two out of five stars. Be aware. I recently changed my starter here. They told me $780 at first. As a student, I couldn't afford that. It's a fifth of the value of my car. They brought it down to $700 with a $30 oil change value, which I initially appreciated as I borrowed some money from my friend and couldn't come up with more. I thought that was a good deal as they helped me. I made some phone calls after I agreed to the charge and guess what? I was quoted $580 at the express oil change just across the street and around $500 at some different locations. Just be aware of their prices for parts as they overcharged me. $420 for a starter, when at AutoZone it's $200 to $250 max. I think they took advantage of me and my situation. Don't make my mistake. Response from the owner. Thanks for the review, Choosing Beggar. When you and I spoke, you came in stranded, trying to get back to Texas and the breakdown derailed your timeline to get home. We got your car in immediately, ahead of all appointments. We diagnosed the starter issue and had a discussion with you. You wanted a new starter, not remanufactured, and it needed to be done as fast as possible because you had to get back on the road to Texas by 3 p.m. I offered a remanufactured unit and a new unit. You still opted for the new unit at a higher price point. After we'd started the disassembly, you came back to me and asked us to stop because you weren't able to get the funds. At this point, I found an even less expensive remanufactured unit, but we had to wait 90 minutes for delivery. You declined again because the value difference between this unit and the less expensive unit didn't make financial sense. You asked me if I could accept PayPal as payment, and while this is not an actual way I can take payment, I agreed. In my mind, I understand what it's like to be stranded out of town and I wanted to provide the least amount of resistance to get you on the road. Now, while the bill was 700 bucks out the door, we replaced your starter with a new Desno OEM unit, replaced the intake manifold gasket, and did an oil change. If we break down the cost, 700 bucks less sales tax, 45 bucks, less intake manifold gasket, 55 bucks, less oil change, 25 bucks, and less disposal fees, 5 bucks. Your new starter actually costs you $569. According to your barometer of costs, $580. We are actually less expensive. To your point about AutoZone being very cheap, the closest AutoZone to us is 10 miles away. They do offer a cheaper starter in their ValueCraft brand. However, it's not in stock and would be two days to receive it. I called this morning to check. We don't buy ValueCraft parts, so I wanted to educate myself to potentially offer a more informed decision to the next customer. I'm not sure what I could have done better for you in this situation. Your actual requirements were, one, the highest quality part available, two, as fast as possible, three, the cheapest price in town. In nearly all cases, it's impossible to accomplish all of this. Interestingly enough, we did do it for you. Let's not forget, I accepted a payment option that I have no idea how I'm going to get the funds out of. 
I left the shop in my personal car to pick up your starter because there was an accident on I-295 and the driver was stuck in a gridlock. And I gave you the LaCroix out of my lunchbox because you were here for three hours with no food. While I'm sorry to read you thought this experience wasn't worth it, it's clear I would have never pleased you no matter what. If you were forthright that you were a student and the only thing that mattered was cost, I could have provided a much cheaper price if I would be allowed the proper time. It's not possible to do what you actually wanted in three hours. I had a consultation with a local company to paint their logo on their wall. I asked what the budget was. They looked at each other and said, I thought you did it for the art. I wasn't told we'd have to pay. Bruh, you think anyone sits around painting corporate logos for fun? Check out this sweet IBM logo I just sketched. That was r slash choosing beggars and if you enjoyed this video then please let me know by hitting that like button because it really helps my channel grow.